Hello Dollar General friends. In this video we are going to talk about all the clearance updates and the penny list for December 12th. And there is no new penny list coming out this week. There could be more surprise pennies and you can probably still find some of the items from the surprise penny list that came out a couple weeks ago. So there's still stuff to look for but there's nothing new yet that we know of. The next markdown you might want to hear about is the Pampers Swim Diapers are going to 50% off. The only other seasonal category dropping in price starting December 12th is the Fall and Harvest items. They are going down to 90% off, which I am incredibly excited about simply because I really want to hunt down some of the great pumpkin scented candles. I cannot resist candles when they go to 90% off. That's probably really one of the only things I'll look for while this stuff is 90% off. Most of it I'm not going to be really interested in until it goes to a penny. So I figured I would take this video and use it as a way to show you and remind you of all the items that were available for Fall and Harvest so that maybe you can get lucky and find a lot of things at 90% off. And I did include several things that I'm going to consider hidden clearance because they are the kind of items that don't necessarily look like fall. They don't have big orange pumpkins on them or say fall. So these are the items that you can expect employees to miss when they're trying to remove the fall and harvest items from the shelf. These are the kinds of things that you're definitely going to want to look for when this seasonal category drops to a penny, which more than likely will happen next Tuesday. Um, not December 12th, but the Tuesday afterwards, more than likely fall and harvest will go to a penny. And these are the kinds of things that employees are going to not realize are supposed to be pulled from the shelf and you're going to end up finding them still left behind when this stuff goes down. Um, I have seen a lot of these items mixed in with the regular home decor. I will say this is one of those categories that when it drops to 90% off, when it drops to a penny, whatever price point you want to buy it at, you really need to go over to the regular home decor aisle look through all of the glasses and vases and things that they have over there and you're going to find a lot of these items misplaced on that aisle and you're going to be able to get some great deals like you can see here these lanterns i found them next to the clocks on the home goods aisle this is a clear jar this is the kind of thing that they don't realize is following the fall and harvest markdowns so it gets left behind and you're gonna luck out and find it for super cheap um like i said i'm i'm really just going for the candles but there's so many different options and so many different things um, a lot of people have found baskets from spring and summer mixed in with the baskets on the regular home decor aisle that will probably happen with all of these fall decor baskets as well. These crates, these are the kinds of things you're going to find stuck on the sky shelves where employees have put them to kind of get them out of the way. Or you're going to find them on the home good aisle in the regular basket section kind of mixed in just because they put the baskets with all the other baskets. I have seen these little metal buckets all over stores. I've seen them with craft items, I've seen them in the clearance section, I've seen them on the home goods aisle, I've seen them everywhere, but these are the kind of neutral, basic items that you're going to find left behind. A lot of the more easier, obvious items are probably going to be gone once this stuff goes to a penny, but you'll probably still be able to find some of this stuff at 90% off. There's lots of things to look for. Basically, it's everything that looks like fall. There's pumpkins, leaves, scarecrows, things of that on stuff. It's probably part of this fall and harvest, and it's going to be 90% off starting December 12th. The rest of these visuals is really just going to be the basic fall stuff that you kind of know is fall when you see it from afar. 
most of it's pretty obvious. Squirrels, gnomes, anything in that kind of muted fall color tones of the green and orange that's kind of pale. The Halloween decorations were all of the bright oranges, but the fall you're looking for all the faded kind of orange colors. I really did like these pillow pumpkins. If I found those little things for 90% off, I'd probably buy some of those, but most of this I'm going to try to not pick up. I will say with that ribbon and the baskets that are kept with the ribbon, a lot of times that kind of stuff won't get marked down the way it should. So make sure you use your app to scan things because there will be items that look like they are fall items but will be excluded. It always seems like a lot of the craft stuff doesn't follow the markdown process the way all of the other holiday items do. So make sure, like you would any other day of the year, that you walk into Dollar General, you open up your app, you make sure it's set to the location of the store that you are in, and you scan these items to make sure they're ringing up the way that you want them to be before you put them in your cart. You don't want to get to the register and get a bunch of surprises of things that are ringing up full price that you don't want to pay for. Then it takes a while to find an employee that can take it off your order. A lot of them don't know how to do that, so it always ends up taking a lot of time if something doesn't scan right. So. Your best bet is to scan the items in your app ahead of time. That way you know they're going to ring up the way you want them to. 90% off is a really great deal. And I do expect a lot of stores to still have quite a bit of this stuff on the shelf. Simply because they didn't mark it down till after Thanksgiving. And a lot of people stop buying fall stuff after Halloween and go straight into buying stuff for Christmas. So they took a while to mark this down. And I think that's going to be something that is going to benefit those of us who are willing to wait and buy it when it goes super cheap. So I do expect to find quite a few things still left at 90% off. I'm sure there'll be some of these tablecloths mixed in with the regular tablecloths on the home goods aisle. That's something to look for. Make sure you look over there for pot holders and dishcloths that have been missed that have fall designs on them. There's always lots of things that get misplaced throughout the store and put in regular sections that the employees forget to pull when they go to get rid of this stuff. So. Make sure you look high, you look low, you look everywhere you go because this fall stuff is probably going to be everywhere. I hope this video helps you out guys. I hope you find a lot of 90% off stuff this week and until next time, bye!